Hey you guys, it's your girl Danny Royal from DannyRoyal.com and God has been dealing with me so heavy and he's been speaking to me. I've been doing a stillness meditation activation um, and what that is, is basically being still. Um, it's a challenge that I'm doing on Facebook. I have a group called Stillness Activation Meditation and I um, have purposely set time aside to meditate to give God you know my undivided attention in stillness and in meditation through scripture and also just through silence and um, during this time with everything going on I believe that God is speaking oh God yes He's speaking so heavy to his people in this battle. This battle is not ours. It is the Lord's. But I need you to understand that this is spiritual. It is spiritual. It's not about what they say that it's about. It's not about what they, what the media will portray it to be about. It is about a battle that began way, way, way back then it's a battle between good and evil it's a battle between territory not just territory but kingdom territory the enemy he just doesn't stop he doesn't stop and I I, I have so many things you guys so many things so many things that God has been showing me and I'm like father how, what, where, when, you know, I don't know. I'm looking down in my book because it's so much stuff. I have to figure out where to even begin. God's been speaking, you guys. He's been speaking, he's been speaking, he's been speaking. In one of my meditations, I'm just going to tell you what, share with you what I saw. And this is where I'll begin. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Um, I saw a flag on a pole. And it was, it was like, you know, moving. But it was just one flag. And on the, on there, I saw the colors green and yellow. And I also saw the colors. It shifted to another color. Green, yellow, and red. And then it shifted to another color. Um, blue and white with the Israel star in the middle and the lines were going horizontally horizontally and it weren't three different flags the flag just changed three different colors and there is something going on in the atmosphere so much bigger than us. Now, I, I don't know specifically what they mean, why God showed me that per se, but what I do know is yesterday when I woke up, May 1st, I mean, March the 1st, I'm sorry, March the 1st, 2022, I was laying down and I got woken out of my sleep to hearing there will be wars and rumors of wars. And there will be a war. And there is a scripture. And the scripture talks about wars and rumors of wars in Matthew. And I believe it's in chap Matthew chapter 5. Don't quote me on it. I'll, I'll look for the scriptures and drop it in the comment section. Or in the description box. But there is about to be a war. And what I heard the Holy Spirit say in my meditation was that Africa is on the rise. Africa is about to be on the rise. 
Oh my goodness, for those who don't know, we as a people, I don't care what color your skin is, we are battling something bigger than, than us. I have some words that God has, re has released me to share with you all. And I have a few videos that I have to do because I know, I know that I know that I know that we're right in the middle where it says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, spiritual wickedness, darkness, and high places of this present world. I'm paraphrasing. But God is doing something. And then I saw, I saw things shaking up. This is in my meditation, you guys. Things shaking up to the point where I was even shaking. I was shaking like this. I can recall it in in the meditation. I've had a couple of, of encounters. I'm just I'm just trying to piece them all together. And everything was shaking. I was shaken in the dream, and in, in, I mean, in the vision. I'm sorry, in the vision, because it was a vision in my meditation. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, "Multitudes will fall, but my kingdom will rise." This was on February the 28th. February the 28th. I, I heard the Holy Spirit say, even in this vision, because when I was in my vision and meditation, there were multiple things showing up, multiple things just showing up. And I'm like, God, okay. He said, I saw, well, before I tell you what, what, what he said, I saw... The, I saw the mason sign where it's the A, I guess, and it's like a line through. And then I heard the Lord say, say that the masons are coming down. I have a word for that as well. The, a, the masons are coming down to a knot. No, not to a knot. The Masons are coming down to know. I wrote this down. Look, I can't make it up. I saw that. This is what I wrote. This is the date, February. There's so much on here, and there's so much more. There's so much more, you guys. I saw the same sign again, but I saw the same sign upside down. But I'm going to release that word another time because God told me to do something before I officially uh, uh, um, give that word. And I also saw, and this was today, this was today, this was today, I saw in my meditation like two battle sticks like this. You know how when when people are in war and they just be doing using like back in the day when they were using the little things it was like sticks or whatever like you know I can't really explain it I'm sorry I wish I can give you a better but they but I saw them crossed and I heard the Lord say battle battle oh la 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 I heard the Lord say battle. I'm, I'm trying to give you, I got so much stuff written down. And I don't know if this was Texas, but I also saw a vision of a, um, it's so much, it's so much, you guys. I saw a vision of a place on a map, which looked to be Texas, and it sounded like, it sound it looked to be Texas and in the vision I heard Texas and it was like a gold gun 
like a golden gun going through the state. This is what it looked like. This, I'm sorry for my illustration, it's not the best, but this is what it looked like. Imagine Texas and a golden gun going through Texas, straight through the state. I don't know what any of this means, you guys, but what I do know is that the Lord is speaking. And when he gives me clarity, the more I am going to share with you guys. But I had to get get this out because, y'all, there is about to be a war. And we are not just in natural war, but we are in spiritual war. And it is time for us to pray. It is time for us to fast because God is literally doing a new thing another thing his kingdom is going to rise yes his chosen people will know who they are i had a word for that and i think i read it i wrote it in my other uh book oh god i got so much y'all i have so much I have so much. So I got some videos that I'm going to be dropping. My God. My God. My God. Have your way. I'm sorry, you guys. And then I'm going to release the word for March. I heard the Lord say, this was way before in February, back in February. I heard the Lord say marching orders. Marching orders, but I'm, I'm not going to get into it. I'm just sharing you some things that God has just kind of like been dropping in my spirit. It's so much. But to go in depth, I want to give, I don't want to shortchange you guys. Okay, yes, there's so much. There's so much. There's so much. There's so much. Okay, so I'm going to be coming to you guys with some. Oh, God. My God. My God, y'all, I wrote this down and I'm going to end here because it's so much. And it says, this is what I wrote down. This is that time. Ezekiel 333. Y'all read that. That the Lord is coming against the land and blows the tr and he's going to and blows the trumpet to warn his people y'all this is a warning there's going to be a war there is going to be a war read ezekiel come on jesus let me let me see if i can go through it real quick Ezekiel 3, 3. Okay, Ezekiel, hold on y'all, I'm so sorry, I wasn't even prepared to do this, but I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to see, okay, so it gotta be, 
Come on, Holy Spirit. Come on, Holy Spirit. Bear with me, you guys. Thank you so much for your patience. Ezekiel 33. Verse 3. And it says, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blows the trumpet and warn the people. Y'all, God is warning the people. This is a warning. There will be a war. There will be rumors of war, but there shall be a war. There shall be a war and Africa is going to rise. God's people is going to rise up out of this. Y'all think that? I, the people of God, God's chosen people and the people that God has drafted and there is going to be a rise in the kingdom, you guys, spiritually and naturally, okay? So it says this, this is that time. We're, we're in here now. This is a warning. War is coming, okay? And then it says, count this as a warning. This is what I wrote. God is going to sentence the land. I did a video. I'll attach that into the description box back in 2019 where I saw the numbers in the grass and he said that he was going to sentence the land and also that there will be a rejuvenation of a nation. I also did that as well. Um, I'll link those two videos in there. And, it's, and I wrote, people who have intentionally sinned against God, against his people, you are in danger and misery will be upon you because you had too many chances and God is tired. He said, touch not my anointed. My God, y'all, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. I wrote, I wrote it all down. This is that time. Count this as a warning, y'all. And there's so much more. I got so many other videos to release. And I, I'm going to try to get some more videos out today. Who God? Y'all. Mm, my God. Yes, I got some words that I got to release in Jesus' name. I love y'all so much. I'm your girl, Danny Roy from DannyRoy.com. I'm going to say a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your grace and your mercy, O oh God. I come up against anything that is not like you, O oh God. I know that according to your scriptures, some things have to take place, O oh God, for your sake. But God, I ask that you show up the way that you choose. I ask that you touch every believer, O oh God, even the unbelievers, O oh God. I ask that you change their hearts and that you change their mindsets, O oh God, that you shift their narrative, O oh God. God, I ask that you show them uh, oh God, that you are Lord in ways that they've never seen, oh God. God, we know that you shall and will get the glory. God, we know that you win in the end. I ask that you allow this video to get to every person that's supposed to hear it, oh God. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your way, Yeshua. There is nobody like you. We'll forever give your name all the glory, honor, and praise because it's due to your name, oh God. Shalom, I seal this word with a blessing that every person that sees it comes into contact with God's glory today and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, count this as a warning, you guys. There is a spiritual war going on and a natural war, and it is time for the people to fast and pray. I love you guys. Be blessed. Peace.